aim of the game is to find these things years, hopefully decades ahead of time, to give us plenty of time to find out what its physical properties are and then develop a countermeasure specifically for that object. This is actually the only major natural hazard that you know of that we can predict and prevent. And in the ultimate, it's also the only natural hazard we know of that puts the future of every individual in the species at risk. Once we're there, then we can start taking photographs. And the normal drill is to take a set of three a few minutes apart, because then, by comparing those images, we can see which of the star-like objects is actually moving. If it's moving, then the chances are it's an asteroid. And drop that down and in the magnifier you can see it move. They're mainly in fairly stable orbits around the Sun. Uh, the asteroids, for example, between Mars and Jupiter, the comets much, much further out beyond the planets. But because they're small, their orbits can change. And if they change, some of them come quite close in to the Sun. And if they do that, then the planets can get in the way. Try not to drop that Allen key because it's a long way down. We've developed so much technology now that we're getting into a position now where we can actually start chasing these down um, and do something about it if a large lump of rock were to head this way. turn a direct hit into a near miss. If you can give the thing just a tiny little nudge to deflect it from the course that's going to hit to one that isn't going to hit, job done. <laughs> 